please join me in congratulating and welcoming the Charlotte Bunch Human Rights Defender Award, Monica Roa. Olympia de Gouges knew how dangerous defending women's rights is. During the French Revolution, she asked for liberty, equality, and fraternity for women, and she was beheaded. In the past year, I've been criminally sued and shot at for defending abortion rights in Colombia. So I want to cherish the happy moments like this and stock up on the good energy for whatever the future is keeping for me. <laughs> I can only accept one quarter of this award just to stock up on the good energy. The second quarter of this award should definitely go to my colleagues at Women's Link Worldwide. They are a fantastic team that I adore, that are led by Viviana Weisman, who's here tonight the founder of Women's Link, and who has been, <laughs> she has been my partner in crime for the past decade. Although I know I shouldn't say partner in crime since I have a criminal suit against me. I don't want to get her into trouble. <laughs> but Vivi, thank you for everything. This is also yours. The third part of the award definitely goes to the women that we work for, in particular the women that, and girls that have died because they have been denied an abortion. You saw me hugging in the video Marta Solay Gonzalez from Colombia who died because she was denied an abortion. There is Ana Maria Acevedo in Argentina, Amalia in Nicaragua, and more recently Esperancita in the Dominican Republic who at 16 had leukemia and she was denied an abortion and the chemotherapy that she needed to defend her life we're going to be taking her case to the Inter-American System for Human Rights. <laughs> and last but not least, the fourth quarter of the award goes to our movement, a movement that is composed by the previous generation of feminists who were so successful in having women's rights recognized as human rights. The newer generation whose challenge is how to translate those rights into reality for women and girls in their own local context. For the very committed women that inspired us and for the very cool men that conspire with us. <laughs> for the activists, for the academics, for the doctors, for the journalists, for the politicians, for the judges. And of course, for people like you who like the Global Fund ensure that we have all the resources that we need to continue our struggle to turn this world into a better place for women and girls. So it's only because I can say it's on your behalf that I'm accepting this award. Happy anniversary to the Global Fund and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. <laughs>